Don't touch the top of the desk. Okay. I'm going to put this uh, piece of wire on the knife like this. I want you to keep it like that. Just keep the feet barely touching the desk. And now do not let the wire walk off the end of the knife. It's going. Stop it. I can't Don't. help it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Doesn't that seem strange? You should be able to hold your hands still enough to keep that thing from... Well, I'll explain well, that I in a minute. I can't. Here's, an, here's another little uh, puzzle for you. Hold out your hand. I'm going to put this toothpick between your fingers and hold it just like that and break it. It's Pretty easy. easy, right? Okay, do the same thing. This time, reverse it. Like that? Like that. Right out to the end of your fingers. Now go ahead. Now break it. It's a lot harder. A lot harder. Why should it be so much harder to do it when you can do it one way easily? It's because, Michael, a lot of your muscles work in pairs. The strong muscle, there's usually a stronger muscle than a weaker one. I Which see. do you do? Do you open your hand more often or close it? In other words, to, to, to grip something. Obviously, you, close you it. use it like this. Okay, so that means that the muscles back in here in your fingers that make your fingers bend like this are very strong. And when you did it the first time, you were using the strength of the muscle on that finger right there to push. Okay, now, when you reverse it, you're going to pull back with that muscle. Let's and it's not nearly as strong, okay. right? Uh, it's a lot harder. Yeah, a lot harder. So those muscles working in pairs are also constantly making adjustments, especially if you hold your hand out and want to hold it still. You know about the muscle pairs yeah. in your arm? Uh, pu pull against my hand. What's that one? Those What's are my that? biceps. Biceps. When you pull up like that, you're using the biceps. Now push against my hand. Remember what's that one called? Triceps. And that's tight now, right? Yeah. And that one's loose. So when you try to hold your hand nice and steady, those two muscles are constantly making little adjustments. In fact, there's a, a, some diseases in which, of the muscles and the nerves in which it's hard for people to hold their hands still because the muscles are constantly making adjustments and they overcorrect all the time, so their hands shake. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's why you can't hold that... that um, this, this is a piece of a coat hanger, which you can cut off to make just longer than the knife. Now, when I tell you to hold everything real still, what's happening to your muscles? It's trying to... The, to steady it more so it's going up and down. You're right. As you go up and down, the, there's little points on the end of the wire, so they get stuck on the table, so it can't go backwards, so it can only go forward. First it, it grabs on here, and then it grabs up here, and back and forth. Michael, stop it from going off the end of the knife! Uh, so we got to, in fact, the harder you try, the more your muscles are going to make corrections, and the faster it will go off the end of the knife. Look.